canopy anchors. Let's learn how we can use our rope to measure how long our retrieval side is going to be so we can maximize how much climbing line we have and minimize how much rope is used for our retrieval end. Let's get into it. First thing you want to do on the retrieval end of your canopy anchor is you're going to take the end of your rope and you want it just kissing the ground there. A little bend in the rope is ideal. Okay, and then we're going to take our our climbing side, we're going to tie a slip knot. And the slip knot, I like to tie right at about hip height. Okay? Hip height, and then we're going to pull it up to the anchor point or the union. Okay, I like to touch it right on the union. Okay, there's no need to pull it up and through the union, potentially getting it stuck. Okay, then what we're gonna do on our retrieval end, right? With just a this is normal procedure on a canopy anchor. So on the retrieval end, on the retrieval end, we're gonna do an alpine butterfly, and I like to make make sure I tie it right at the same height I tied that slip knot. That way, our measurement is accurate with that slip knot. Okay, so the slip knot in the Alpine Butterfly are tied at the same height, which easy for me to remember, hip height. Okay, so now that I got that tied on, or that tied up here, just the most basic canopy anchor here, um, with a little piece of hardware, the quickie, we're gonna rig it up. Okay, and like I said, you can do different canopy anchors this using this method um, just for example I'm showing the alpine butterfly with the quickie here okay and so now like you normally would you're gonna pull the climbing side down which pulls the alpine butterfly up but since we tie that slip knot up there and it's in the union all all that happens here is that slip knot pops out right there it popped out I felt it you can visually see that it's popped out okay and then you're just going to pull your canopy anchor up all the way to the union. Okay, so it's in there where it's cinched up to the union. And now, look, the magic happened, right? So on your retrieval end, it's just dangling. It's not touching the ground. Uh, it's you don't have 10 feet of slack on the ground. The ground, if there's brush getting dragged right here, you know, it's not getting tangled up in that brush going towards the chipper. People can still cut on the ground, you know, although I still want to be careful, but it's not tangled in the brush on the ground. That's the main thing. Um, on the other side of that is now I've got max amount of rope to climb with. So I'm not worried about running out of rope uh, for redirects and whatnot. So hopefully this helps uh, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I'm going to get into showing how you would do rig this up with a, a soft eight because uh, there is an extra step there. So, all right, all right, guys. So now that I showed you how to use a slip knot to measure the tail of your retrieval end, we're going to do the same thing but with a soft eight, and there's a little bit extra step here. Okay, so getting into it like normal. Like you would, how you would normally use a soft eight, you need to put your rope through the soft eight uh, before you pull the rope up around the union with the, with your throw line. Okay. Okay. So now I got my soft eight on. I'm going to pull the rope up. Okay. Now, if you forget to put your rope through that big ring. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how you could just use a quickie on that side to make it midline attachable. I'll cut to that after I um, finish showing you how to do it. do this when you're normally rigging up the soft eight. All right, so now we got our rope installed on the tree, in the tree. Excuse me. Okay. So 
now we got our rope installed in the tree. And so, using the same technique, okay, um, the extra step for this would be that you need to make sure you put your soft date through the, put your rope through the soft date first. Um, but if you if you use soft dates, that's not there's no difference in how you would do that normally or versus using this technique. So now we got our rope installed in the tree. We have our soft date in, installed on the rope. Okay. Using the same technique, we need to have our retrieval end just kissing the ground with a little bit of bend in the rope, I like. It gives you some wiggle room here. Now, we're gonna tie our slip knot above the soft eight. Hip height, okay? Okay, now, the same thing, we're gonna pull our slip knot back up. But before you do that, I almost just forgot, but save you some time later in this process, just put your retrieval end through the small ring on the soft eight. Okay, now we're gonna pull the slip knot up like we did previously in the video. Okay, we want that slip knot just to touch the union. Like I said, no need to pull it up through and around. Okay, now you're just gonna set your soft eight canopy anchor like you normally would okay <clears throat> only difference is you know, I don't only difference is is you're gonna put your alpine butterfly at hip height the same height that we tied that slip knot okay High dress set. All right, now we're gonna capture the the alpine. <clears throat> put a carabiner through the alpine and capture the tail of the rope, rather. Okay. Now, just like you normally would, you're gonna pull your climbing line down, uh, pulling your soft eight up into the union. Okay. And as you pull down, that slip knot just popped out. Actually, there it did. Okay. Sometimes you have to give it a little tug. Okay. Now we're pulling it up into the tree. Okay, it's in there. Now look guys, the magic happened again. Perfect height. As you can see, the tail is roughly around where we tied that slip knot in the alpine butterfly, okay? It's not dangling on the ground. Guys aren't cutting it when they're cutting brush on the ground. It's not getting dragged to a chipper. And now you have max amount of rope to climb with. So that's how you use this technique on a soft eight. Thanks. All right, so here's the little extra I said I would add if add in if you forgot to put your rope through the big ring on the soft eight. So right here, I'm just putting the retrieval side through the small ring. And if you still want to use the soft eight, but you forgot to put your rope install your rope before you pulled it up with your throw line. Right here, I'm just using a quickie. Sometimes those pins can be fun to get undone, especially when you're up in the tree. But I'm just rolling back this band so I make room for the quickie to be installed. Um, essentially, you're just making the soft eight midline attachable here. Okay? So now I'm just putting the rope through the quickie, and boom, midline attachable soft eight right here. I like to keep the pin on the climbing rope side. That way, there's a little bit of roll when I go to retrieve it. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully, that's a little extra tip in the video that helps someone. I'm sure it's already out there, but I figured I'd just throw it in with this video. All right.